All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to not die on your trip to Sturgis. Let's check it out. Dude rolling up with a stock lowrider S. I'll give him a sticker. <laughs> What's up, dude? I live in Brooklyn, but I There you go. I think I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Brian Helm. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, how's your ride? Good, good. Brother, you drove all the way here with that cafe battery on there? Yeah. God bless you. From, from Daytona. I'm getting battered around like a kid in a ball of yarn, you know? <laughs> Good, man. It's looking like a road warrior. That's a, got some miles on this puppy. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Respect, man. That was my nephew. That's the YouTube and the Instagram. What, what do you do? Motovlog. Photoblog? Yeah, Motovlog. Are you taking a picture of me? Yeah, yeah it's video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's going on, YouTube? BK Low is back in the building. And shout out to these two dudes who we just met. Um, they actually also rode here from Brooklyn. So that's Francisco over there and the dude with the new Lowrider S didn't catch his name. I'm Brian Helm. But um, solid dudes, always exciting to run into folks from back home. And uh, all right, so this video is a response to some requests that I've got, which is a lot of people seeing me doing these trips and just asking like, you know, what are some tips to getting through it safely, getting back in one piece, etc. This being the second time I've done it. And um, I've kind of thought about it and I broke it down into two very essential and very simple tips to greatly increase your survival of your Sturgis trip. And um, you might think this video is a joke and that I'm being sarcastic, but I'm actually being 100% serious. And you would understand that if you came here and kind of saw some of the riding culture and some of the atmosphere. Okay, so here we go. Essential tip number one to Sturgis survival. And that is wear a helmet. Let me say it again. Wear a helmet. You would not believe. I'm, I'm thinking almost probably, yeah, easily over half of the riders that I see here are not wearing helmets. And it's like a really weird, like, culture thing out here where it's like, oh, yeah, no helmet laws. Great. And like, I don't understand it. It's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. It's cool to uh, not protect your head in the event of a crazy collision. Like that makes sense. And I mean, me personally, like, you know, I'm doing the speeds and I have the riding style where I need that extra wind protection from a helmet. So I don't really understand the whole culture and like what the appeal would be of not wearing a helmet. But if, uh, that's your thing and like you, you think you're gonna come out here and it's gonna be cool to do that well you are greatly increasing your chances of having a fatal crash on a motorcycle if you look at the statistics a great deal of motorcycle deaths are due to there being no head protection and I would even take it one step further, like these guys ahead of me, I tell them all the time, but they're kind of stuck in their ways with this. Like, yeah, you know, a half helmet, it's better than nothing, but like, you're still leaving your chin and your face exposed. You know, at the end of the day, me personally, I definitely want to be wearing a full face at all times. And again, like I've ridden many miles with a half helmet and uh, at the end of the day, like, I just can't do the speeds I want to do without having a full face. And that's why almost every dude you see on a Dyna is wearing a full face. So yeah, survive Sturgis, invest in a good helmet, such as the Shoei RF 1200. Can't get enough of it. Okay, so that is my essential tip number one. Essential tip number two to surviving your trip to Sturgis is do not crack open that first beer until you put away the bike for the day. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm, you know, promoting drinking or alcohol. I don't promote drinking on this channel. 
But what I'm trying to say is out here, there is a pretty, pretty heavy bar culture, heavy saloon culture, heavy drinking culture. Now, the problem, I, that's, that's all well and good, cool breweries, you know, it's all good. But the issue that I have with that is everyone's coming out here to ride, you know, so you're advertising and you're pushing alcohol on people who are getting on bikes. And I see it like, time and time again where, you know, a group of guys will throw back a beer or two and then hop right on their bikes. Now, I know what you're probably saying is, oh, BK Low, you're being paranoid, you know, if you're just having one drink, it's fine, I could, I could ride with one drink. So, the reason why I'm telling you and the reason why I would never ride with even one drink in me is because you really need to watch out for the other riders that are coming at you. Like, every day I'm out here on the road, I see at least two or three things that could be catastrophic if not handled properly. So you really have to be vigilant out here. These roads are no joke. There's serious wildlife out here. You know, you can encounter something as much as a charging buffalo. And again, you kind of just have to accept that you're dealing with a bunch of riders out there that are riding buzzed. And um, unfortunately, that's just like the culture that's been instilled in Sturgis from, you know, before I was even born. You know, it, it is what it is. You can't, I can't change that. But what I can do is I can make sure that when I'm riding out here and I'm on my bike that, oh, shout out to this dude, is that I can make sure that when I'm out here riding and I'm on my bike that my riding skill and my attention is razor sharp. And one drink is enough to maybe make you react a millisecond too late to something that would need your full-on riding skill to handle. So that's why my second essential tip for survival out here is don't start cracking open those beers until you park the bike for the night. Trust me, not a good idea. All right, but I hope this was helpful. I'm sure I'm gonna get plenty of people who are gonna disagree with these things, which is fine. But again, I'm just looking at this from a scientific standpoint and science and statistics say that one, your chances of surviving a motorcycle wreck is greatly increased by wearing a helmet. And two, a, a great majority of motorcycle incidents happen when people have alcohol in their systems. So it's like, I'm not even just like, this isn't just opinion for me. Like I'm going straight off of statistics here. You know, you can find this stuff anywhere. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, yes, do I ride fast? Yes, do I do certain maneuvers that maybe the road captain would raise his eyebrows on? But at the end of the day, I want to get back home and be around to ride another day. And I want you to get back home too. So follow my tips. I hope this helps you out and I hope you have many Sturgises and all types of motorcycle rallies to come to put some miles into. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there, wear a helmet, don't drink and ride, stay low, and BK Low is out.